Ten years ago, building reusable rockets was completely impossible. All the experts said it. All the physics professors said it. Entire aerospace industry was against it and said it was impossible. But still, here it is. Elon Musk made it possible. So let me ask you something. What is that one thing that you think is impossible? Because I am about to prove to you that the word impossible is a complete lie. Day 12 landing confirmed. There is a physicist named David Deutsch. He wrote the book, The Beginning of Infinity. And in the book, I found one sentence that completely rewired my brain. And it goes, All evils are caused by lack of knowledge. Listen to it again. All evils are caused by lack of knowledge. Poverty, disease, confusion, failure. The root cause of all the evils is lack of knowledge. Deutsch calls this the principle of optimism. And no, this is not some motivational garbage. It is physics. Everything, each and everything that is not forbidden by the laws of physics is possible, given the right knowledge. If the laws of physics, if the laws of nature allow it, the only thing stopping you is knowledge. No luck, no talent, no discipline, no consistency. Just the knowledge, the right knowledge. And that knowledge, it exists somewhere in the thin air. It's floating in the universe. Your job is not to wait for it, but to find and create it. Let me give you two examples. Example one, Elon Musk. When Elon said he wanted to build reusable rockets, everyone laughed. They mocked him. NASA had tried, but they failed. Russia tried. Even they failed. So when a PayPal guy shows up and says, I'll do it, it was obvious that everyone was going to laugh and mock him. But Elon did not care. He knew it was possible. He did not ask if this was possible. He asked, what is the right knowledge I need to make this possible? He then went and created it. Trial, error, explosion, correction. Trial, error, explosion, correction. He failed multiple times, but he did not give up. Because he knew that everything is possible given the right knowledge. And then finally, he created Falcon 9. Let's say you are terrible at math. You are a straight F student. And you think that I am not a math person. But here's the thing. The method you have been using to learn math over the years is not meant for you. But somewhere out there, there's a method for you that makes you learn math effortlessly. There's a way of learning math that clicks perfectly for you. Maybe it's by visualization. Maybe it's through storytelling. Maybe it's through building something with your own hands. But your job is to find the correct way of learning math that instantly makes you click the concepts. Instantly make you understand what, what, the, what the concepts mean. And there's always a way. Always. Your job is to find it and build using it. Learn using it. Create using it. You are not broken. No one is broken. You just lack the right knowledge. So how do you get the right knowledge? Deutsch has a phrase for this too. Conjecture and criticism. It's the algorithm that runs reality. Step 1. Guess. You come up with a theory, a hypothesis, or whatever. Step 2. Test it. You try, you build, you act. Step 3. Fail. You brutally fail. Step 4. Criticize. Ask yourself, what was the thing I did wrong? What should I change to make it right? What's the knowledge I am lacking? Ask yourself the right questions. Constructively criticize your idea and your failure. Step 5. Correct it. As you found the things that you are lacking in, work on them. Go all in and solve the problems. Solve the areas where you are lacking. Get the right knowledge to solve those areas. And finally, step six. Repeat until you succeed. Keep repeating, keep repeating, keep repeating. That's it. That's the entire game. Most people quit at step three, where they fail. Once they fail, they think it's impossible. But it's not that. It's not impossible. You just lack the right knowledge. Failure is not a stop sign. Failure is data. It tells you what is not working, what, what's not meant to be done, what you should not do. And then your job is to not make the same mistake twice. Failure tells you what not to do and what not to repeat again. It filters out the wrong ideas and takes you towards the right ones. So stop asking, can I do this? And start asking, what knowledge do I need to do this?
and this mindset shift will change the trajectory of your life forever trust me now i have to be honest with you this is a heavy thing to accept because if everything is solvable and you just lack the right knowledge there's no one to blame you can't blame your luck your circumstances or your situation your family your friends your relatives no one you are the person you are the one who can make it happen or who, or who can make it fail so the choice is yours it might feel like a burden but it's also the ultimate freedom because you know everything is possible everything is solvable and that mindset gives you relief it makes you chase the right knowledge it makes you go on the right path that's what changes everything it means you are not a prisoner of your circumstances and that relief that stress relief is life changing you are just a person who has not found the right combination of thoughts yet just think about it for a second this is one example pressing the correct buttons on your laptop can make you a million dollars just think about it for a second so whatever problem you are facing right now don't think it's impossible to solve just chase the right knowledge ask yourself what knowledge do i need to solve it what thing can help me solve this problem now you know how to solve any problem that feels impossible guess test fail correct repeat until you succeed that's it that's the entire game all evils are caused by the lack of knowledge david doish i'll see you in the next one